Right, I've got all my uh, circuit hooked up now, and so it's all working. Uh, I've hooked it up with two batteries, and I've only got three magnets on the outside of this at the second. Now, uh, so what also I've done is uh, I've hooked up an LED to the uh, the motor that's in inside of that, and uh, I can just show it you working now. Let's give it a bit of a, a spin. And Switch it on. I mean, we can adjust this until it's very dim. Oh, it's just gone out. Can you hear the noise difference? I'll just turn it the other way slightly. That's it. You have to leave it so it's uh, slightly illuminated. Uh, to get any uh, charging back out. Now, uh, something else, I'll just show you the uh, protection neon working by uh, taking the charging battery off. If you can see the neon comes on straight away. And just to show you now, you can make the, uh, the bulb really bright and then you can make the neon really bright if you turn it all the way up. And it's. And can you see how that, that slightly dims before this comes on? It's that equilibrium in between that you need. And then, as we put the charging battery on there, and. Uh, You can see we're getting that to glow up. It's just uh, spinning up the speed now. I think I need to get a finer uh, potentiometer or a uh, rheostat I've been told is quite good because they can handle more power because I've been having them burn out quite often. That's great then.